Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Tales, where we make tech history fun and easy to digest. Today we are diving into the epic saga of artificial intelligence. Buckle up, because this story has everything: geniuses, robots, and drama. Our story begins in the 1950s with a brilliant guy named Alan Turing. Imagine him as the Tony Stark of his time. Turing wasn't just a mathematician. He was a visionary. During World War II, he cracked the Enigma code, a secret encryption method used by Nazi Germany that baffled even the brightest minds. Breaking this code wasn't just a military triumph; it was the first glimpse of the machines that could think and learn, laying the foundation for what we now call artificial intelligence. After the war, Turing turned his genius into the idea of machines that could think. This is how. AI journey begins. In 1950, Turing published a paper titled Computer Machinery and Intelligence. In it, he proposed the famous Turing test, a way to measure machines' ability to exhibit intelligent behavior indistinguishable from a human. Fast forward to 1956, the year AI got its name. The Dartmouth workshop of 1956 was the birth of artificial intelligence and the source of an infinite wellspring of innovation. Picture this. A group of computer scientists including John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky, Nathaniel Rochester and Claude Shannon gathered at the Dartmouth conference like the Avengers assembling for the first time. They coined the term artificial intelligence and dreamed up machines that could mimic human intelligence. This was the birth of AI as a field of study. This workshop was the starting point for the development of AI systems that now permeate our world. Jump to the 60s and 70s and AI starts making waves. Remember Hal from 2001 Space Odyssey? He was like the Darth Vader of AI, cool, calm, and a little bit of terrifying. But in the real world, AI was more like R2D2, trying to figure out the basic tasks like problem solving and learn. During this time, researchers developed the first AI programs that could play games such as Arthur Samuel's Checkers playing program and the general problem solver by Neville and Simon. Now while AI was starting to develop in West, India was also making significant strides in technology. In the 60s, Indian Institute of Technology were established, creating a foundation for tech education. By the 70s, India saw the rise of computing research with the organizations like the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research contributing to early computer science studies. This is how India was gearing up for the tech revolution. The 80s were particularly important. This was the era of expert systems, AI that could make decisions like human experts. Um early research in AI looked at at duplicating human thought processes but current ai research is more concerned with duplicating the end result of intelligence these systems were used in the fields like medicine and finance where they could analyze data and make recommendations systems like mycin helped diagnose infectious diseases developed at stanford university mycin used the knowledge base of rules and heuristics to recommend antibiotics based on the symptoms and test results and much more innovations were made in different sectors during this time and then came the 90s and the rise of machine learning picture this ai is starting to learn from data just like how we learned to play cricket by watching and practicing this era was all about training algorithms to recognize patterns and make predictions in the west this included the development of neural networks and support vector machines it was a huge leap forward ai could now improve itself with experience a bit like how we learn from our mistakes In the 2000s, AI got a major boost with the advent of big data and much powerful computers. It's like AI went from dial-up to fiber optic. We saw the emergence of self-driving cars, recommendation systems, and even AI that could beat humans at games like chess and go. This was the age of AI, becoming more integrated into our lives. Today, AI is integrated into our everyday lives, doing everything from diagnosing diseases to powerful virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa. It's like having our own personal Tony Stark tech, always ready to help. Artificial intelligence. So there you have it, the worldwide history of AI from Turing's groundbreaking work on the cracking of Enigma code to today's Jarvis-level tech. What's next? We can only imagine. Thanks for joining me on this tech trip down the memory lane. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for much more tech tales. Until next time, keep imagining the future.